the ad. How are you? Hello. Hello, the ad. How are you? I'm all right. What you doing? <laughs> Nothing. What are you doing? A lot of people have been calling and saying, Dave, why haven't you had the ad on in a while? Okay. There's Kareem himself. He, he liked that song a lot, didn't you, Kareem? There's no doubt about that. See? Oh, he really liked it. Perception oftentimes overcomes reality. That's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Well, he better get his hands out of his cookie jar. I guess so. That's what you said about him. All right, so the Ed, how have you been? We haven't talked in a couple of weeks, and uh, a lot of people have been dropping me a line saying, where's the Ed been? I've been right here. You ain't called me. You don't give me your number. I got to wait on you to call me. I'd call your show 57 times a day, but you don't let me. Well, listen, first of all, my apologies. It's been two weeks and it's been too long. But what is encouraging to me, what I love is maybe I've gotten spoiled because all of a sudden you are really media savvy. Late in life, too. It's amazing. First, you started your own website, the edsuperdeluxewebsite.com, and it's great stuff. Now you're on Twitter, too. You actually tweet your thoughts out to the world, huh? I just be typing on there like today. I went and got over at Popeye's Chicken. They had two piece for ninety nine cents, and I had six of those specials today. <laughs> that doesn't sound healthy. No, no, it was real good, real good. No, I'm not saying right. it didn't taste good. I'm just saying it's probably not healthy to eat that much fried food. No, no, chicken's good for you, man. That fried stuff that'll keep you going. You sure? All right. Well, okay. I guess it's uh, it's worked for you. Life is going pretty well for you. And then the other thing is that's amazing. I really love, again, it's the edsuperdeluxewebsite.com where you track it down. You now actually are putting out your own online newspaper, the Ed Times. I really enjoy it myself, but I wonder, what made you think? A man, what are you, 55 years old? Yeah, next week I got a birthday, June 14th, and I'll be 54. You're going to be 54? That doesn't sound yeah. right. I'm having, listen, listen, I'm, I think I told you, I'm, I'm not going past the speed limit. 55, I'm stopping, and I'm going to be having unbirthdays now the rest of the time, and I'm going to try to make it back to 45 before uh, I die. <laughs> Those don't sound like very high expectations yet. you think you're only going to be with us for another decade or so? Um, probably not another 50, 100 years. I don't know. Yeah, probably not 50 or 100 years. So um, anyway, so yeah, so you're writing this newspaper now. And like I say, I'm really entertained by it. Where did you come up with the idea for this? Well, I've seen, it, I've seen on the news that a lot of the newspapers was going out of business. Right. It's true. And I said, well, listen. A lot of it's going online. People, you're right. Yeah, they're trying to. So I decided I'll try to make something. And tell, because a lot of people do this thing called a blog, mm -hmm. but I don't know nothing about how to do that, so I just decided to do this. Like a newspaper, so it's sort of a hybrid of the two. It's sort of a blog, it's sort of a newspaper, and it's your thoughts. It's great. Yeah, I wrote stories about you, too. I saw and that. I didn't care about, for that. Stories about that uh, that girl, Sass, too. She's mm -hmm. on there, and well, he's a Everybody guy. He just has a name there. like a girl. It's a. It, I yeah. know it's confusing. He is a guy, though, for sure. Yeah, she's in the in the contest for the final six for the. Uh, I'm having a Miss Ed USA contest. Yeah, I I noticed that, but again, I just want to make it clear that Skyler, even though he has the name of a woman, is a guy. I know she got how many votes? Let me see. <laughs> Actually, man. So you're having a contest. So you're having a contest for the Miss Ed USA. Is that what you're calling it? Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So yep. how how do we vote in that? The Ed? this is this is the sass right now. Do we do that on the message board or? You, you got to vote on my Facebook page, or you can email me at my email. Oh, okay. Facebook. Because I want it to be private, so everybody can't see who everybody's voting for. But there's two or three of them of the six that are getting all the votes. Three of them ain't getting much votes. Mm -hmm. Well, it's Facebook, though. I just want to make sure that yeah. we're clear about that. But uh, yep. all right, well, I'm listen, it. it's great. I, I just uh, it, it's yeah, interesting I that you decided to tell the world about what's going on in your little world about your swim lessons, and you did make a new friend though, a, a kid named Noah. I thought that was an interesting story featured in the Ed Times. Yeah, he. Uh, I only got a few more lessons, and I'll be I'll be out there like a fish. <laughs> Just, just going, man. I'll be out there. People be trying to catch me with a fishing pole. I'll be out there in the water. <laughs> but I know. But, but in I Las Vegas, where do you go pole, swimming? Man. Where are you gonna go? Are you gonna go to one of those casinos, big swimming pools? Yeah, I don't know where I go. But they always told me when you go in the water, if you see a worm, do not bite it. 
<laughs> that sounds like good advice for the audience. I hope that everybody was paying attention for that. Hey, the Ed, what do you think about? Uh, we're just a, a, a couple hours away from Game Three of the NBA Finals and Game Six of the Stanley Cup Finals. So I, it, it, I don't want to get into too much detail about that. But what do you think about? First of all, the NBA Finals. Is this thing? Is this series a, done? I got, a, I, got a, I got a question for you. Okay. Shoot. When the when the Pittsburgh Penguins was down two to nothing. Did you think that the series was over? No, I didn't. I said that I thought that the Penguins had a chance to win the next two at home, which is exactly what they did. But, you know, then it's a tall mountain. Why do all these crazy people think that the Lakers' magic is over? Oh, that's done, Ed. That's done. This series why, is why, over. Why, 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 why? It can't be both ways. Well, it, yeah, it can be. Like it's not the... the s- <laughs> that's not what it's about. It's that the... the uh, I don't know. The Magic have never been there before. I think that they probably that does, you know what? had that the win taken... Matter. That doesn't yeah. matter. Andrew Bynum ain't never been there before. Think about it this way, the Ed. Think For about reason, it... Th- he ain't never been there. J- let me just yeah. say something uh, to you. Uh, what were you going to say about that? Nothing. I, listen, I'm just making a point to you. Think about it I in these terms. If the Magic cannot win if they even if they win think about it in these terms even if they win two out of three in orlando that still is not going to be good enough the only chance that they have to win this series is to win three straight do you agree with that there's no, no way that no. they win two no, in orlando win, come back and then win games three. they're not going to win games six and seven in los angeles well, hey i don't know all right well I, the, the miami heat did it when they lost the first two against the Mavericks a few years back. I know, but Kobe's on a like, mission. Oh, everybody was like, oh, Dirk, no, no, Litsky, he's the, he's the greatest since Larry Bird and all this, and they found out it wasn't true. <laughs> well, Dwayne Wade got a few calls that series, too, didn't he? How do you know that, uh, that uh, whoever the Magic's guard is won't get no calls? I can't think of that kid's name now. Kid wears a magic jersey, though. I know that when he plays. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I call them the tricks because I don't like when the name doesn't end in S, which leads me to my next question for you, the Ed. Last time we spoke, I think, we had just started collecting ideas for what the Clippers could be renamed to distance themselves from their past and move forward. Well, you, you threw out off the cuff, I put you on the spot there, and you said the uh, the curtain rods, which wasn't bad, you know, like I say, when putting you on the spot like that. But now you've had a couple weeks to think about it. What do you think the Clippers should be renamed? Well, I think well, the Los Angeles plaid shorts is a good thing because a lot of people wear them plaid shorts, man. <laughs> you know, and, and you could wear them on the court. They'd be pretty fashionable. Yeah, well, that's the thing. They would have to wear plaid, wouldn't they? The plaid shorts you're throwing uh, yeah, uh-huh. and The white T-shirt jersey would be all right with it. Yeah, well, uh, I see. I see where you're going. I, I've heard worse ideas. Not, not many, but I have heard uh, one or two worse ideas than that one. Or you could go... With, like, the South Central Steel Reserve, because that's a pretty good beer that my friend Franklin drinks. Steel Reserve. That seems weird. I don't know if I like that one either. Hey, The Ed, you remember how last the last few times we've spoken, we've done a little uh, sports trivia showdown and how I've won every single one of them? No. Well, it's happened. We've, we've been doing lists here. You and I go head-to-head. The Sass throws out little list questions, sports trivia related, and th- that have been submitted by the listener, and then you and I go back and forth until someone can't come up with a name, and then uh, and then the other person wins. You remember doing all that? Yeah. Well, we've been doing it. So let, let me refresh your memory here. Let's see if we can do one right now. And the SAS, let's begin. Let's do the latest edition of the Sports Trivia Showdown. Sweet. Got them ready. You ready, the Ed? What are we doing now? <laughs> This is the sports trivia showdown. How can you not know? We've done this three or four times now. Oh, when we have the contest about the questions? That's what, yeah, right. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, because you've been cheating. No, I'm not cheating. You got it with the answers holding up. Them. See, you're in, you're in California. I already know that everybody holds up cue cards for everybody. <laughs> That's true. Really? A lot of shows do that. Not here, though. The Sass, am I cheating? He's not. Despite his best efforts, I have held him off from looking at all the uh, questions and what's answers. The, what, what's the, what's the uh, topic this time? Well, it'll be different we've topics. Few, we've and... got a few questions. One's about uh, baseball. One's about uh, NBA. And then another one spans hold on, hold all the four on, major okay. sports. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Slow down. Hold on. Are you all right, the head? 
Uh, I think some of that chicken went down the wrong pipe. It sounds like it. Hey, by the uh, way, a lot of people were upset with the sass because he was eating on the show yesterday. They didn't like him cheering his uh, chewing on his food. What do you think? You've heard enough of the sass. Do you like him or do you not? 